The thoughts, views, and comments expressed by Rodney Monker, his guests, callers, and advisors on Freedom March are not necessarily those of the management, ownership, or production unit of ILS, the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV Studios and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without the express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group. Copyright 2017. All rights are reserved. The role of a woman in the society is to submit. Right control are the pills of the devil. Education is so fundamental to the development of a people. Hi, murderers. Simple as that. What am I voting for? Voting will change nothing. Good moon, I see Como ye. God save the queen. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Freedom March, broadcasting live on ILTV Studios here in Nassau, Bahamas. My name is Rodney Monker. I'm a Justice of the Peace here in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, and I'm a member of the Catholic Christian community. There is breaking news taking place at this very moment. A 56-year-old Negro lady, Selena Sweeting, was arraigned before a magistrate this afternoon. She's a manager of the local National Insurance Board, and there's been two counts that she was charged with. One was, let's see what it is, she's accused of extorting $5,000 from a Negro male by the name of Sean Rumming. And there's a second account. She's also accused of soliciting $5,000 from Sean Rumming. So she was handcuffed and escorted to the magistrate court. Now, under new legislation, there are certain categories of criminal offenses which a magistrate has no authority to grant bail. So guess what? 56-year-old Selena Sweeting is on her way to a majesty's prison unless, of course, she has the means and the skill to have lawyers waiting. Other than that, something is wrong. 5,000 extortion. And the woman is on her way to court. I mean, how, on her way to prison. So we'll be looking at that, and there's some other things. I have a Negro male who is going to join me for the first 18 minutes. Went what peace says. He's a Negro, handicapped man, living guess where? In Bainstown and Grandstown. And guess what? Don't mind Travis. <laughs> Travis is hiding. Travis is now a big thing. Promise everybody in being in Grandstown what all he can do. But my poor brother, he went to the poll and he voted. I ain't gonna put him on the spot and ask him how we vote. But you know what time it is, eh? It's the people time. I keep frightening him. Please, you know I shout. Show him, eh? His name is Wentworth P. Sands. And yes, says. Uh, says. Yes. Do you know Alfred Says? Alfred Says, yes. Is he related to you? I, I am not sure. Okay, well. He's a nice man. Okay, well, we're going to be talking about him. He's the Negro male where somebody on Bay Street using maneuvers and intimidation forced him away. But today I'm going to lick off a political shot at them and I can tell them he's coming back to set up and many come back to set up, I want coexistent. You see, Travis might hide. He's 22 years old. He might hide because he really don't love the people down. But me, I'm a lover of my people and I'm prepared to mobilize my friends to ensure 
that this handicapped man gets a piece of the economic pie. This is Freedom Mart. I'll be right back after we pay the bills. Freedom March with Rodney Monker will be right back after this. This is Freedom March with Rodney Monker. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Freedom March, broadcasting live on ILTV here in Nassau, Bahamas. My name is Rodney Monker, and my special guest for the first 18 minutes is Mr. Wentworth P. Says. He's 48 years old. He lives in a Negro constituency called Bainstown and Grantstown. And of course, his MP is the new Negro member of parliament for the constituency, Travis Robinson. And Mr. Says here, he has a number of impediments. He has a speech impediment, he has a walking impediment, but he is a very ambitious young man. He's a small businessman. He's been going to Bay Street, selling his t-shirts and everything, and then of course they use an interesting maneuver where as they improve their store, they maneuvered, forcing him in a very skillful way from that area and driving him back over the hill where there's no work. And being a handicapped man, can't find Travis. Travis is now doing good. Travis forgot when he was poor and walking up and down and being strong and grand strong and motivating young people like him. So they all give him a chance. Now, can't find Travis. All right? Wentworth, I want to welcome you to Freedom Mass. Thank you, Mr. Monka. Good afternoon, Thomas. All right. And of course, um, Trav uh, um, Wentworth, I must point out, has been an, a political activist. He had a tricycle. And whenever we're marching on social and political issues, he always joined. Do you still have your tricycle? Uh, I'm still riding. Do you still have your? I'm still riding. You still riding? Yes. Okay. Ready for, ready for the march. Okay. Now, what, what, what is the problem you're having with your small business on Bay Street? Well, in, in April, in April, I was forced to move. In April, you were forced to move. Yes. Ex Okay. In April, you were forced to move. Yes. And please explain how, how did that happen? Well, um, I was in at my stool at, at the particular day. Um, I had someone working with me. It was on a Sunday. Um, the white guy approached my work and told me. It was a Sunday. You were not working that day, but you had somebody working. <laughs> a friend of mine was working my door. Okay. And, and a he, white guy approached him. White guy approached and told him that it would be his last day. That it would be his last day. Yeah, that they were going to do some um, renovation. Because they were doing some renovation. Yeah. And, I, and we are no longer, we are no longer to come there. Now, after the re uh, the renovation was over, were you allowed to return? No. And um, why have you not gone back? What what is it that you are afraid of? Well, um, the the way how the way how we set up the way how we the way how we set up I was, um my table will be blocking it. My table will be blocking. So the way they have set up or renovated the store. They end up blocking your table, you're saying? No, no. I would be blocking the, I would be blocking the entrance. Oh. But what they do, um, the, how they get the tools set up, um, um, they, um, they have like a lift. I see. So the way they have renovated they, yeah. the entrance yeah. to the store. Yeah, but, uh, but like, um, it's like big open. Okay, and you would end up blocking it. I would be, end up, Okay. 
And um, no <laughs> one has spoken to them for you? No. Mr. Ponga, let me ask you, what is soliciting? Okay. Even me, I must confess, I'm having a little difficulty in clearly understanding what he's saying. Try well, it again. What is soliciting? Oh, what is soliciting? They uh, accuse you of... No, no, because I, I approach the banks. I approach the banks to see, the, if, to see if they can allow me to set up. Which bank did you approach? As I approached Scotia Bank. You asked Scotia Bank if you could set up? And the Royal Bank. And the Royal Bank. And what did they say? And, well, I spoke with the, the manager of the Royal Bank. You spoke to the manager of the Royal me. Bank. He think that would be soliciting. He say, if you come in the front of the Royal Bank to set up your table, it would be, solic be soliciting. The Red Butler Turner, it sounds like you, the granddaughter of Sir Milo Butler, must visit the Royal Bank again. So that Royal Bank wouldn't help you. Huh? No. And the Scotia Bank wouldn't help you. No. And the people where you used to be, by the pharmacy, they have made it difficult for you to set up there. No, no, but it doesn't, um, it doesn't always anyone to really recruit the pharmacy because the pharmacy was how common at me. They allowed me to be there. The pharmacy allowed you yeah, to be there. Yeah, but I wouldn't put the blame on the pharmacy. But you wouldn't but, put the blame on them. But somebody, somebody is, I, I don't know who's behind it. Travis, this is a work for you. This your, this, your, this your constituent. This is a good test for me to see, Travis, if you really love black people, and particularly the handicapped. You know? Oh, boy. What, what is it that you want to happen? Well, um, I'm trying to get at the, at the welcome sound. You're trying to? Get yeah, at the welcome setup. You're trying to get at the welcome setup? Uh, 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 yes. Well, Travis is the man. You're MP. Uh, uh, no, no. Mr. Mongo. Yes. Let me say something. I went to see Travis. Uh, he made me feel small. Wow. Be Travis, you heard that? Because, because the world was like, he um, tells like how you, how you take the time to listen to me. Ethan Miller. Wow. He, like, he, he would take my information and I was very sorry. The wow. Way, the way I was treating me. He went to see Travis. Wow. So there's a country for you, hey? And then Mr. Mongo. Wow. Uh, another problem I have in. Um, Another problem when I have is with social service. Social service? There's another problem. What is the problem you're having because we got three pastors in charge of it? I went to get some food. You went for some food? And the lady told me that um, my, um, whatever they call it, my files are closed. Your files are closed? I don't know what that means. Wow. To the woman, them, I'm your leader. And I'm going to ask. A favor now, and I got a couple to ask afterward. This man is our brother, Travis Robinson, the MP for Bainstone and Grandstone, his member of parliament. When he went to see Travis, Travis made him feel small. He goes to social service for food. Because don't forget, the white man told his employer he can't set up. So he can't produce no more. He can't help himself. But social service ain't prepared. Now there must be some people who say they support me. That could buy some grocery. No money? Grocery. And bring it to the studio over the next couple of days. So that we could give our brother. And now we know what kind of man Travis is. Because here is a Bohemian citizen. Twice Travis age. He's 48. Travis is 22. Twice 22 is 44. Mr. Mongo, I, I appreciate what you did for me that now, but I feel like my appendix 
has taken away our freedom from the, from the PLP that passed the disability rights. Yes, the PLP did pass the yeah, disability and, um, rights. I don't see no changes. I mean, um, oh, what I going through, I've been on so many shows like you on, and nobody has come. Y'all got hog hot. Nobody has come. Um, wow. I want to thank my support, Mrs. Sheila Kama. Sheila Kama. The Bahamas National Council for Disability. Right. Where I say, where I say, was a chaplain. They was really my support. And I just want to say thank you to Ms. Sheila Kama. Wow. All of my, all of my friends who have me time after time. Wow. I just want to say thanks. Wow. Mr. Mr. Monga, I want to work. I want to feel independent. You want to work and you want to feel independent. To, to system, to what I believe is going on in our country, um, the system made it to be. It's many people, they do, they don't want to be the situation they're in. But the system is a design to to make you depend on them. Wow. Wow. No, um, if you could, uh, I'm, uh, I'm trying to get in the welcome center. You're trying to get in the welcome center? Travis! <laughs> help the man to get into the welcome center. You're the MP. The United States government, State Department, they praise you. They say how proud they are of you, Travis, but I have a Negro male who lives in your constituency who is handicapped. Obviously, when the Americans took you away, they didn't tell you or they didn't examine to see if you really love black people. Because if you do, this man is handicapped and you have the political influence to get him in the welcoming center so he could be independent. Mr. Monk, before, before my time, before my time up, um, I just want to send a shout out to my brother, my brother, Lo. I know he's watching your show. He's paralyzed also. Your brother's paralyzed? He's, wow. He had a stroke. He had a um, stroke? He had a stroke and um, Wow. And I went to the social service. I took a part of us, meaning he's not helping Mr. Monk. And they ain't doing nothing for you. A part of us, Mr. Monk, what I mean, someone being to the house. Say so the house is condemned. Somebody been to your house, say your house so, is condemned. From social service. But they ain't do nothing. They come to his house, say his house is condemned. But they ain't do nothing for him. His brother's <laughs> paralyzed. He appealed to social service for assistance. But I told y'all, y'all don't like black people. They don't like black people. Go ahead talk. If I, get, um, I want to say a thank you to my, my, one of my neighbors. Oh, see it fit that I be here in the studio. Twin, twin, I salute to some of you. You are trooping in. And I want to thank all of the guys in Hay Street. Thank you for thanking, thank you for making sure that I be on time. You are good. You are all, all good, paying me. Thank you. He thanks. The brothers on the block through Hay Street, oh. who made sure he get to the studio on time. Guys, y'all are heroes, and I want to thank y'all. Wow. So, we have a clear example where the least among us are forgotten. Nobody care. They want to hide the least among us. And now some of us are so big, we get elected once, and we think that we have arrived. Our oh boy, folks, Wentworth B. says, a poor man who wants to maintain his own independence and dignity, and somebody run him off Bay Street, but he's going to return, or I shall declare war the monk, on I, Bay Street. The monk, I was on Bay Street 
from the early 80s. He was on Bay Street from the early 80s. I see Bay Street change. He saw and Bay Street change. I know, see, this is the worst I ever see. And this is the worst he has ever seen. When we were from it, I was trying to get new location. Most of, most of, most of the most of the foreigners. Most of the people downtown are foreigners. But he is Bahamian. And Travis, listen to me. Your daddy is my good friend. Travis, you should hang your head in shame. You hear me? Okay, there's some people who want to donate little things to him. Okay, well, you can do it. Go ahead, talk to the people then. Hello. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Whoever you are, God bless. You can. Okay, sir. I, I uh, thank you. Thank you. There's a man just called. He wants to be anonymous and he's prepared to give you a hundred dollars. He'll call me. I thank you, sir. God bless you. So. Thank you. Uh, so, Mr. Monko, yes. you see that all, all is not look. I believe that we have a beautiful. Bahamas. We have a beautiful uh, Bahamas. Uh, it doesn't like people. It doesn't like people fall in the crowd. I, I love my Bahamian people. Yeah. I love. Wow. So, 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 so he the loves his Bahamian so, people. He so, thinks so, the Bahamas is beautiful. So, so, the best, so, so the best place to be. He loves the Bahamian people. And he thinks... It's a nice place to be. Listen, anyone who wants to donate anything to him, you come here, leave it right here at the studio. If you can't find me, you come to the studio, and his name is Wentworth P. Says. And you leave it right here, okay? Even if you can't reach me and you got a little money, all the people in this studio, they're safe. You leave the money here, you leave the food here. Travis! Travis! I'm disappointed in you. You could fool the white people in America. But here is an example. When I return, I got something else to drop on y'all. It's emotional. Listen, I thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bonka. And I, I am one of your biggest fans. Wow! <laughs> I thank you very much. Listen, folks, do something for Wentworth. And I need a number of young men to volunteer because we got to go downtown to find out who stop him from making a living. Travis, it is not too late for you to get him in the welcoming station where all the tourists are so that my brother can make a living and maintain his dignity. Give me your hand. You're a great man. Come on. You're a great, great man. Yes. A great, great man. Freedom man. Freedom, yes, sir. Freedom. My brother. Freedom. He's a great man, a great man, a great man. Lord, have mercy on my brother, for he is poor. Have mercy. Thank Freedom March with Rodney Monker will be right back after this. The thoughts, views, and comments expressed by Rodney Monker, his guests, Callers and advisors on Freedom March are not necessarily those of the management, ownership, or production unit of ILS, the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV Studios and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without the express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group. Copyright 2017. All rights are reserved. Welcome back to Freedom March, broadcasting live on ILTV here in Nassau, Bahamas. My name is Rodney Monka. I'm joined in studio by my spiritual advisor, Bradley Roll. Bradley, sac passe. Na boule garçon, comment vous êtes? Ah, papi mal. Yeah, I'm sad. Yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, that was 48-year-old Wentworth P. Says a constituent of the great constituency of Bainstown and Grandstown. You've heard it. And it has me extremely emotional that I'm not sure if I can deal with another depressing issue. 
but I shall deal with it nevertheless after my spiritual advisor would have helped me through prayer. My spiritual advisor, I welcome you to Freedom Thank March. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Martin, because it's always a pleasure to be here with you on Freedom March. You're doing a great thing, Mr. Monk. You're doing a good work. And I'm sure the God of the heavens has looked at your heart and right, sees your you. heart. And he's able to do abundantly, immeasurably, and beyond we could ever imagine. I thank you, my spirit. Absolutely. Advisor. Absolutely. Will you say a small prayer? A small prayer. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, let's go to create in prayer. In prayer. Uh, Father in heaven, we once again are so thankful to you for a wonderful day in the Bahamas again. And for this beautiful country, we are always grateful to you. Father, we pray for the government of the Bahamas, that they would do the things that will help the people of this nation. Uh, Father, for our, our brother Wentworth, Father, we pray that you would fix the situation, Father. There is no problem that is greater than, your, than, than you. Father in heaven, we know that with man, things are impossible, but, but you, with you, all things are possible. We know you're able to do it. Father, these favors and blessings we ask in your Son, Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 I thank you, my spiritual advisor. The story of 48 year old Wentworth says is indeed touching because a few moments ago I've had at least two people who have pledged to donate $100 each. But I'm going to invite all of y'all to go into your pocket after I give you this story. Indeed, it's an interesting story. But I start off by saying that it's sad in my family, my cousin, Ricardo Monka. I got shocking news. Oh, yes, yes. That my cousin, Ricardo Monka, passed away. Yesterday would have been the 27th anniversary of my late mother's death. Only for me, as of Saturday, start getting these emotional news. Among the news that I got was one Negro man called me to tell me that businessman Rupert Roberts had died, and I was shocked. And then the next thing I know, about an hour or two later, a justice of the peace who was off the island, he called me to say that he was so saddened over the news that businessman Rupert Robert had died and that the only person he could think about to give condolences was me. And I said, well, I thank you, but I'm saddened. I, I, I don't know what to do. And things changed for me when yesterday evening businessman Etric Bow called me to tell me that Rupert wanted me to know that he was not dead and that he's alive. So I said, Rupert Roberts isn't dead? He said, no. I said, well, praise the Lord. I was excited. <laughs> I was excited. He said, listen, Rupert wants you to tell everybody he's not dead and to tell the flowers, the people them who sell flowers, to return the money. So I was excited to hear that Rupert Roberts was not dead. And then hours later, I got this shocking, devastating news that my cousin, Ricardo Monka, had died in the United States. So, joy came when I heard that Rupert was alive. Great sadness after I heard that my dear cousin, Ricardo Monka, had passed away. May he rest in peace. On Thursday of last week, a Negro woman made contact with me and she said to me that she wanted to invite me at something that was being held at All Saints Camp at the old Lazaretto. And I told her, I would come, but I'm so busy, so constantly remind me. And she did, almost every day. And then on Saturday, I went and I got a surprise of my life when I drove about 12 to 1500 feet off Carmichael Road into the Lasaretta Road. This was an institution 
where many, many years ago, those Bahamian citizens who had leprosy were kept. So it was a leper colony. And so, as I arrived, I could see yellow. And I said, the PLP in the back of here, what are they doing? Because no one told me it was the PLP, and they actually didn't tell me what they were doing. And as I jumped out of my car, I recognized that women and some men from the PLP was there giving out um, school supplies and painting the children's face and doing little lunch. And I thought it was powerful. I said, wow, isn't this wonderful, the social work that these women, the woman them and the man them were carrying on. And as I look to the south, it dawned on me that I could see a burial site. And I wasn't too sure what it was. So I said, are they burying people in the back of here? And so the lady said, no, no, that's the cemetery. So I decided I'll walk as far of behind the colony that, it was that I was able to go. And I seek out one of the people there. I said, listen, I'm here. I'd like to look around, and she said, no problem. And then I went into the kitchen, and I'm asking the Royal Bahamas Police Force, the fire branch, I want you all to go to the St. What's, what's it? The, 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 goodness me, what do we call the camp? Oh, on Lazarus Road? Yeah. Um, is that the... Uh, the All Saints camp? The All Saints, All camp. Saints camp. Thank you, my spiritual advisor. I went to see, the, to inspect the kitchen. And since the hurricane passed, no one thought it was important to go and repair the roof. As I got in the kitchen and I look up, I could see the sky. And I said to myself, my God, what is this? And the ceiling, it collapsed. The stove. I need the fire department to go and look at the stove because the level of grease that is building up is ripe for good fire. Similar to the fire that we had at the Rand Memorial Hospital. And as I inspect, it's clear that the stove was, was a brand new stove. And I began to do further inspection. And one of the things that I noted was that that stove was purchased by one of the community organizations, but have not returned to at least inspect the stove. It's clearly a brand new stove. On, in, on the inside of the kitchen, all of the electrical wires are exposed. So it's a good trap or terrible trap to electrocute the children there and some of the people. The camp has 50 adults and 15 children. Now, I want to thank Cable Bahamas for providing free cable for the 50 room. I have one problem with you, Cable Bahamas. I do not think that you should charge the camp if they use HBO. Give them it free. I want to say something good about you. But I have BTC in. I inspected the telephone. And it didn't in. And that camp is about 12 to 1,500 feet from the main road. And if there's an emergency, they do not have a phone. And I questioned them. I said, why, why is the phone not working? They said, well, the phone isn't working. We owed them about 300 and something dollars. Then when we went to check on it, it doubled to 700 and something dollars and BTC cut it off. And we are catching hell trying to maintain the camp. And I said, BTC does not recognize what is in the back of here. BTC should have given these people free, free, um, uh, free um, 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 phones. And then the next problem that I have was... Um, their lights. All right? I questioned them. I said, what about these lights? They said to me, listen, our light bill is $60,000. I 
And every time we find $2,000 and we pay it down, it come back to $60,000. We are now concerned about when, BD, when BEC can cut it off. So I said, well, the government don't do nothing for you? He said, yeah, the government give us, we, we get 20000 But we were given 10000 in January. That's when the PLP was in power. And they were supposed to receive another 10000 in July. But they did not get it. Finally, I now know that the FNM has cut the $10,000. So guess how much they're going to give them now? Man, it's enough for me to just get in the middle of the road and just curse real dirty word. They are entitled to 10000 The government has announced that they're cutting back things. So they're going to give them $1,600. $1,600. My God. My God, Dr. Menace. You don't have to cut the AIDS camp. You don't have to. You mean to tell me you can't give them $10,000? Can you imagine? So as I inspect the buildings, I said, who did this building? I said, the white people from America. They did it. Lisa, I want to thank you and all the white people from America who went to the AIDS camp and did some building. And give the people better accommodation. But Lisa, these Negroes, ain't no good. <laughs> the roof is leaking in the rain. There must be someone who could solve that problem. There must be someone who can help them with the light bay, Bill. All right? It is in a horrible condition. Dr. Bernard Nottage, the late Dr. Bernard Nottage, he had a brother who used to run that camp. And my God, when he ran that, you could eat off the ground. But today, bush growing around it. Being tell me all these prisoners, Marvin Dames, can't get some cutlass and take the prisoners out there and slash? You mean to tell me that there is no one in the corporate community or in the Bahamas who could repair the roof? Boy, you all don't like black people. You all ain't got me fool. And so... I've been all over the place cursing and carrying on about it because it is wrong. And I demand from the FNM that they give that camp the remainder of the $10,000. The last time the FNM came to power, it had a wicked minister responsible for social service. And the devil got hold of her one day. And she got a mask, put it on, some gloves. And this might take, y'all might think I lying, I ain't lying. You hear me? She put on surgical masks, she put on gloves. And she run them poor children through the bush. <laughs> God be my judge, I ain't lying to you. You hear me? That's what she did. She show up. And she started catching children. The children break off run. You heard me? They broke off run through the bushes. That's what she did. You all know her. Teresa Moxie Ingram. She was the Minister of Social Service. And all she did, she had them poor children, frightened, running through the bush. You don't think that's true, my spiritual advisor? I find it very difficult to believe. Take it from me, I'm sexy. I mean, yeah, if you're saying If it, I it tell is, you. It is what it is. That's what the FNM did. That's what Teresa Moxie did. They were the days when she could walk up and run. She run them poor children. You hear me? Uh, wow. Now, uh. in our phone, I look at the food supply. You hear me? My God, a rich country like the Bahamas. The FNM ain't got no social conscience. If you have social conscience, you would feed those people. All right? And the staff is doing a commendable job. And I want to thank, okay? I want to thank people. And I've been all over the place. I was so mad. I, I had to go to church early on Sunday morning because I sinned up to about 2 a.m. I sinned. I sinned because I curse and carry on. Man, it's annoying, man. My God. All right? My God. Listen, people. You have to visit the all same camp. You have to have a social conscience. The people who were working there, they're doing a wonderful job. And I was pleased. That the PLP woman and man them, they went there, they cook, and they treat them good. And then I was so impressed 
when the woman start um, fixing the children them face and I could see joy and when I told her I was going in the bush I went in the bush really to do a silent tear because I could not believe that one Miller a pastor Lanisha Roll a pastor and Bishop Hewland what Hannah there's a tree save people they can tell menace oh no we can't do it to the AIDS camp oh no we can't do it there huh these are our family these are our relatives but listen to me these people ain't safe I ain't listening to them they are not safe and when I went to inspect BTC phone and I turned to them I said but this phone ain't working they said no we ain't got no phone any emergency, we ain't got no phone. Well, Leon Williams. Huh? You mean to tell me? I want and I demand that Desmond Bannister instruct BPL to write off the $60,000. I demand it. I demand it. And so, that is the price that we are faced with, my people. I, 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 it, it's just annoying. I don't understand us. Everybody got hard heart. Say they say it. They believe in Jesus. How you could believe in Jesus? And I was hungry and you didn't feed me. I was sick and you didn't visit me. I was thirsty and you wouldn't give me no water. The phone off and you wouldn't cut on the phone. The roof over the kitchen. I got the photographs, you know. I took the pictures with the hole. In the ceiling. And that ain't no big, big money. They could do it. Huh? They could do it. Thank God for the, the white people from America who went in the back there and saw the living condition and repaired most of those things. Y'all make me, don't make me embarrassed, man. Say y'all running government. Running with government. All y'all running is in a long mouth. Y'all ain't right running no government. All right? And it's sad, man. How, how menace a millionaire, how they could justify cutting uh, um, the, the last $10,000 that the people should get. And I inspect it. They need more than $20,000. These ain't no corn artists. Because I inspect while the rest of them was playing food. I said, now, here's a good opportunity for me to look and see. What is the condition here? So somebody go in the back there and do lawlessness. By the time the police find out, because it's 1,200 to 1,500 feet off the road and in a phone. I want BC, BTC to move that big phone box from in the back there. Because they ain't waking. I'm a kind of man, when I show up the government or quasi-government institution, I inspect. Because I judge a government by the way, it treats the poor. And my spiritual advisor, it is a national disgrace. And we can have fire. We can have fire. Because the, 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 the group who donated the stuff, clearly it's a good gas stuff. But it needs maintenance. Oh boy, they get me so angry in this country. So angry. And that's why. On the 2nd of September, I want all the people to know, that's the day we're marching. We're marching Saturday, the 2nd of September, over all these matter. All right? Because somebody needs to have a social conscience. And then the people them think that one of the reasons why I don't respond, I too sometimes don't have minutes. Sometimes. First time I had little dollars to buy things is since May. And I'm, I'm annoyed. And I want Bahamians to go down there. It's a good place to go. You will not be affected by anything. It's a good place. The staff is doing a commendable job. And I don't want you all to give them no money. Because they will, be fall, they will fall in a category similar to the woman on East Street. I, I, I have not said anything about it. Sent for me about two or three weeks ago. She's so depressed. She now got a followed form to comply right 
taking care of all people and so forth. Now the FNM say, if she don't comply, she's a terrorist. Because some stupid people across the world tell them that terrorists might be here. So don't give these people no money. Buy the food, buy the clothes, fix the place, and so forth and so on. But I'm very disappointed that their light bill is $60,000. 60000 I wrote down a litany of complaints. So I'm beginning to believe. I asked them, who's your MP? I had to, I had to control myself. When the woman tell me, the woman in the, in the, at the camp, I said, who's your MP? And she was so proud. She said, Minister Warren Miller. I almost said to her, fuck him! But I caught myself. Warren Miller, it's a disgrace that this thing is in your constituency. In no phone. The people stress over when these foreign people, these foreign people, we don't know them. Leslie Miller, when Leslie was chairman of BEC. I can call Leslie and say, Leslie, make sure them people phone no. Don't, don't um, cut no, off. The light. Make sure them people light don't cut off. But I don't know that Negro woman because she wasn't the person who signed the contract. I don't know how she get here. And these black people who run the country, y'all are stupid. Because for y'all to sign contract with the white man and he goes away with all the money and then y'all bring one woman who spent most of her time in New York. All right? So that's what we are. $60,000. I want the f and to write it off. Because those who are in charge of that place shouldn't be concerned about the 60000 And having inspected it, I am satisfied that everything they got is being used legitimately on the camp. I'm satisfied. Oh boy. I don't know what we can do. My spiritual advisor, use f and m You save. Why, 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 why are you always calling people out like that, man? Listen, I'm f and m Yeah, but... I just don't support when, them. When, when it comes to this issue here, it has nothing to do with f and or PLP. It has to do. But, okay, so let me ask Under question. the PLP, they got the $20,000. Okay. Right, so... Why of all the places? Mm -hmm. Why... Take. I understand your point. Come on. You're a valid point. Right so, so the AIDS camp is funded by the government or char charitable organizations? The government mm -hmm. gives $20,000. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, those people who might be getting little social benefits, mm -hmm. it's pooled. Mm -hmm. All right? Because the administrators are doing a wonderful job. I watch them. I, okay. I disappear and sneak around and watch them. I watch them. And I'm convinced that they're genuine, they're loving, and they mean those citizens well. They are people. Absolutely. And that's what I'm saying, man. Absolutely. Beds, uh, beds. Uh, uh, what about, beds. they have a hundred beds. They need 100 yes, I thank you. And they need a hundred beds. They need a hundred beds. You hear me? It's, it's something, man. It, it, it made me extremely emotional. They need a hundred beds. All right? And, 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 oh boy, it's enough to get up in the middle of the road and just curse dirty words. I think I'm going to curse a dirty word. Maybe I should curse like five pound note, right? Curse, curse, curse! But you know, good self. I can't believe it. Warren Miller, he's a pastor of the church. Lanisha Roll, she's safe. And Bishop Hewlett and Hannah. That's what you get for taking the job. All right? I want the people to get their $10,000 but $1,600. It's a disgrace. I'm tired of these people, man. I think I'm going to move. Now we're going to build this country, Mr. Monken. You're doing a great job. You think that's so? Yeah, that's what it's all about. Yeah. You think I ain't seen it? You, you went on a very interesting fact-finding mission. Yeah. And, you know, people should be proud that you did that. Yeah. So here it is now. You're exposing all those things that's happening at the AIDS camp, and I can tell you the people who call themselves Christians who sit in the house, they have a serious challenge. I understand they got about five Christians Well, there. then they're going to have to make a decision whether or not they're going to put the government's feet to fire as it relates to helping those who really have the need. I My mean, God. the haves are supposed to help the have not. Yeah. I mean, that's just an obvious Christian thing. Man, as the PLP made them sandwich. As the PLP made them sandwich, my people who live there, they were so happy. I just love the way that woman play with the children, take care of them, 
Venus, I don't care what you all say, but PSP all the way. It's the people's time. PSP all the way. <laughs> and I'm proud of y'all. Take care of the poor in Jesus' name. Amen. Freedom March with Rodney Monker will be right back after this. This is Freedom March with Rodney Monker. Welcome back to Freedom March, broadcasting live on ILTV here in Nassau, Bahamas. My name is Rodney Monka. You would recall that on Friday of last week, I told you that I was in possession of the 1967 Commission of Inquiry report. And I gave you a story of the late Sadie in the Puch. I also warned you how the government of Venezuela is moving systematically to destroy the opposition. I also told you that that is the trend that is developing here in the Bahamas. And it calls for a political response. And I told you of the thousands of Bahamians who are losing their jobs. And so, we here at Freedom March have moved to help in mobilizing a political response to what the government is doing. And so, we have written to the Commissioner of Police requesting a permit to have a candlelight vigil on the 2nd of September, Saturday, September the 2nd. I have also written my member of parliament, Shannon Don Cartwright, who is the chairman of the Beach and Park Authority, requesting permission to have a little rally at the Sudden Recreation Ground. And then after we done rally, we're going to do this wonderful march because it's important for the Bahamian people to defend the democracy and to show the FNM that we will not be intimidated. But I'm going to the Commission of Inquiry because there is a wonderful woman who lives in Exuma by the name of Veronica Marshall. Veronica, I understand that you might be upset over the fact that I have argued that your sister is a hypocrite. I got the evidence, you know. She criticized the PLP for going outside the courts and standing in solidarity with Shane Gibson, Kenrit Dossett, and, and Brother Smith. What Brother Smith's first name is? Uh, Frank Smith, correct? Which Smith you talking about? The, the, the senator who they charged. Yeah, Frank. Right. Yeah. And I can show you the double standard. Now, I want, you know, f &M producers, put that picture of Dr. Hubert Minnis outside the magistrate court in March of 2016, demonstrating in support of the Negro people that he encouraged to go over the bridge and push down the fence on private property. Is it on the screen? Because I don't trust y'all FNM. Yes, I see it. Folks, here's the, here is Dr. Dr. Hubert Minnis in March of 2016 with huge crowds of FNMs outside the Nassau Street Magistrate Court to the extent that the police was forced to block the road off and bring all kind of patrol car. But my lady ain't complain about that. This is the evidence. So you see, when I say Veronica, she ain't saved no more. See, cousin Veronica, remember who I told you I was. I is Missy Adley, great grandson from Forest. That's who I is. All right? And all us is family. And you know how she is. She ain't criticized Minnis because she's FNM. 
She ain't criticized. She's F and M. And I can tell you something, Veronica, you have to talk to her. She had in Perry Christie long time. She had me in and she had Perry Christie. But every time I see her, I hide from her. I duck her. Because I know what kind of woman she is. Because when she retired as president of the Court of Appeal, she told the press that she had intended to arrest our Christie, the Prime Minister arrested, and to have me arrested. You heard me? This ain't a make story. And when I heard her announce that she was going to have me arrested, I recognized that I must hide from her. Because anybody who arrests me and I do nothing must be evil. And that's what she said. All right? And I hide and I duck from her. But the evidence is here that Dr. Minnis, while serving as leader of the opposition, before decent Loretta Butler and all of us move him as leader of the opposition, he was outside the court. And that woman ain't open her mouth. Ain't say nothing. So you see the hypocrisy? I just need you to, to know that, Veronica. And don't be upset, eh? I ain't gonna curse her out. I even ain't gonna call her name, cuz. But I just want you to know that what she's doing isn't fair. All right? She's not cutting the thing straight. And if you listen how she talked to the art special, it almost sounds like boyfriend and girlfriend. Right? Just because you went to Durham, you think you smarter. I mean, what that is? As I read that, it was so sexy. I didn't know what this was. <laughs> All right? And so, this is what we are faced with. Veronica, speak to her. It's double standard. I don't know. Tomorrow, I may let you hear something that she said at one of the parish. You see? But I don't know if I ought to do it. But I just want you to know, Veronica, that she is practicing double standard. All right? Because I produced the photograph. I showed Dr. Minnis outside the court as he rallied. The only thing he didn't do on that day was Sally. But man, he rallied. He even tell the court that when he become prime minister, he is going to either withdraw the charges and expunge the conviction. All right? And Candia wrote about it and condemned him. I thought I ought to let you know that. I'm having some physical problems because I live in Bain and Grand Stang and it seems to be hot. My fan is hot, hot, hot. And I hardly can sleep. Last night, I slept in the bathtub. Man, it was a wonderful sleep. My spiritual advisor, <laughs> my wife nagged me, said, you can get drunk. I said, woman, I'm not going to get drunk. Right? So you're going to have to find me a hotel room for a couple of days because I have to study this thing here. This is the UN guide for anti-corruption policies. See, minister may know I got it. The white people, them. They made sure I got it. Right? So I have to study it because I have to advance another case. I have to show you all how menace got it wrong. And I have to study it. So I call on the woman, them, to find me a nice hotel room for weeks so I could study because this is plenty work in that hot house in Bain Town. Why don't you just put in a, a window unit, man? Man. Put in like a little 5,000 BTU. Th that, that can't work. That can't work? No. Okay. So now, having said that, let's see where we are. Um, okay. Right, we finished that. Let me do a little shout out. I want to do a shout out to Christine Seminet. Christine, you are a wonderful woman. And I saw your son today. And when he said to me, Mr. Monka, my mom is one of the women them. Well, Christine Simonet, this is code one. Save the woman. We will save the country. I need everybody to get ready. We marching Saturday. By the grace of God, Saturday, September the 2nd. All right? We're going to meet at the Sudden Recreation Ground. We're going to rally. I want everybody at the Sudden Recreation Ground from at least 5.30 in the evening because it's going to be a candlelight vigil. And then we're going to rally 
And after we done rally, we can sally. We can have a nice march and motorcade. Slow one. We can live like from the city meet um, market parking lot on Market Street. Head south to Chapel Street. And then west along Chapel Street to Meadow Street. And west along... Which what hotel you would stay at? What hotel? Tell them any hotel that could hold me and my wife. All right? Because I got a lot of things to study. And it's hot. Tell them I could use a week or two weeks in a nice hotel. Because I got to study this thing. All right? I got to study this and it's uncomfortable. So, it's from the parking lot. Old City Market. Market Street. We head south to Chapel Street. West along Chapel Street to Meadow Street. And to Nassau Street, not along Nassau Street, to Meeting Street, east along Meeting Street, to Blue Hill Road, south along Blue Hill Road, and back to Coburn, either Coburn or Cockburn Street. And that's where the, the, the march will end. So we're going to leave our cars at City Market, and we'll march there. And it's a slow march. And I call on all the groups. We, what is the name of, th th of that Negro man group? We March 2. No, no, he's We March. We March. I call on We March 2. I call on all the women them. I'm your leader. I'm your sugar. I call on all the men them. I'm your brother. It is time to march. Because the democracy is threatened. And I need you all. To come and march. And I ask the PLP that the same way Dr. Menes helped his wife, first cousin, son, run out. I ask the PLP to help Freedom March. Because I'm leader of the woman them. Alright? Whatever Menes did for them, you all do for me. I call on the DNA to join. I call on all them people who work in the graveyard and can't get paid. It's time to march. If the F and M took away your contract, it's time to march. If you want F and M and they wouldn't give you no contract, it is time to march. Who that on the phone? Anybody on the phone? Get Hello, the text. Good afternoon, Mr. Monka. Hello, my love. How are you? Listen, I'm angry. I'm saddened over how they treat my Negro friend. Wentworth says. And the yes, people. I'm sad as well, Mr. Monk. I'm also disabled. You're disabled too? Yes, sir. Oh, Jesus. But you sound. Yeah, I, I got shot a few years ago, and so they sh I am. You got shot? I'm disabled as well. Oh, Jesus. I'm so sorry. Yeah, to hear Mr. Monk, I must give credit to the former government, Mr. Christie. They did try to make some steps wow. you know, for the disabled persons. I thought they could have done more. much more. Okay. You know, I, I, I really hope this government continue on with what was put into place before and be and get serious with disabled laws in this country because the truth is this country is not a disabled friendly country. It's not. Take away six people. Persons don't have respect for persons who's disabled. Yeah. I got a complaint today from someone who's also disabled. Really? She said she had a meeting with one of the ministers and they was acting all high and muddy leg up on the desk and well, they in his phone don't forget that now. They scornful. Yes. I'm Anytime like, yes, you I see... Mess, if I was you, I was going to tell him something because I come to meet with you and it is like he, and I, he wasn't even paying attention to her. Well, I'll tell you what Mama told me. Mama say, anybody who don't want clean nanny playing scornful and nasty. Yes. And don't forget the f and had the sewage flowing. Uh-huh. Yeah. But Mr. Mulga, you, you keep up the good you keep up the good work. Can you can you match? So long, Mr. Mulga, drink some water. Okay. Don't let these people stress you and send your blood your blood pressure up. Listen, that is true. Hello, good afternoon, I'm Say, how you doing? My oh, I'm doing great. How you doing? I'm okay. Thank you for life. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about your injury, eh? I hope things work out, man. Can you walk? Not at this time. I stood up before, but I never like make steps. Okay. But I don't wanna I i I'm trying to do like more therapy. But later on I'm gonna start I want to see if I'm going to like do therapy abroad. So how do you okay. move about? I use the wheelchair. I mean, so listen, I'm, I'm more... Bring your wheelchair. I'm independent. I don't really wait around for persons to... You know, I, I did like 
physical therapy and okay. a bit uh -huh. of occupational therapy. Yeah. And so they taught me how to get in and out of the car and in and out of my bed. I, I cook. I, I, you know, I just try to make the best of it until I start, you know, I start, until I start walking again. That's the spirit. That's well, the spirit. Listen, if you feel good, Saturday the 2nd of September, come in your wheelchair. I'll push you and come march with me for I am the leader of the woman That's down. for sure, Mr. Monga. I'll, I'll make it. When you send them this, this marches. This is Saturday, the 2nd of September. Get, what time? Get there by 6 p.m. Okay. We can rally first. And Sally. Afterward. Take good care. You too, sir. Welcome to Freedom March. Good afternoon, Mr. Monker. Hello, my dear. How are you and special advice today? We are fine. You're doing great. I trust you all have a great weekend. Mr. Monk, I want to say a special friend in Freeport, Ricardo Smith, is celebrating his 51st birthday. Ricardo he Smith. Man them, yes. His wife, Villa May, and his daughter, Tony. This, yes. this is powerful. The children and the woman. Yes. Okay, but well, that's a happy birthday to Ricardo Smith. Tell him, as leader of the man them, he is demanded to bring the woman and the children to march with us on Saturday, yeah, that was the second of September. I heard. Oh yes, I'll be there to march with you, Mr. Mark. Can what? I bring plenty, plenty, plenty of women them with me as well? You promise? I'm gonna come and march with you. This is powerful. Take good okay. care. Thank you. You're God welcome. Save the queen. Yes. Hello. Welcome to Freedom March. Good day, Mr. Munga, and the spiritual advisor. Good afternoon. How you doing? All right, so I, all, I, I mean, I hope all is well with y'all. But I have two, two issues, Mr. Monka. Go ahead, my one brother. One issue, and then I have a solution for the, the All Saints camp. Okay. Uh, my my uh, issue first is Miss Lanisha Rule. Yes. From election, this lady closed a, uh, 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 what you call it, constituency office that being closed from then to now. Really? I, I mean, the people in Seabreeze voted out. Ms. Hope Strawn, whose office was open from time immemorial. From wow. she came into politics, yeah. her office was open. Whether she won or not, her office was open. Wow. I mean, and this isn't a political statement per se, but I'm just saying that Ms. Lanisha Rule, I know they have things to do. They She have a position now and all that. Right. But you cannot just cut the people off, like turn the top off, completely and don't uh, represent your area. I agree with you. That you're, that's what you are, remember? Uh, you're, uh, uh, you represent persons. I mean, and like, see, well, the people then made their decision. They voted out Ms. Hopestron. But her office was open. Wow. Well, listen, I have you the hear solution. Me? I, I hear you. I have the solution for it. Will you join yep. me in this Freedom March on Saturday... But the second of September, we're gonna Mr. meet. Monka, yes, always, always. Any March, I, I, I ready to go on. The, 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 the next thing is, yes. uh, with the All Saints camp. Yes. I know uh, the school Anatole Rogers. They made that some sort of uh, project where they put in uh, alternative energy. The All Saints camp, All Saints camp, isn't a big thing that would pull so much I energy. I agree, you. Whereas they could put that on solar, they could, I mean, and these monies, would they could spend and one time be done. You understand? Put yes. that on solar, uh, make some way for their communications to be up and running. Like, you know, subsidize it and just be done with it. They wouldn't have to be burning no bunch of current. They could produce their whatever they have to do. You understand? I mean, it's right. a suggestion from me. It's a wonderful uh, uh, idea. Rather than them having a big light bill or whatever 60, it is. 60000 Yes, sir. I mean, they could do that. They did that to Anatole Rogers. They have that, that school as some, some sort of alternative energy project. Okay. And they could, they could do that to the All Saints camp, too. I thank you for your Excellent wonderful suggestion. comment. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Have a great do I have day. another call? Hello. Welcome to Freedom Arch. Hello. Hello. Sir. Oh, yeah. Good day, Mr. Monker, spiritual advisor. How are you all doing? We're doing great. Oh, that's good to hear. Uh, Mr. Monka, I want to know when will there be a march in Grand Bahama Freeport? Well, now, um, I would like to have one almost now. The problem is how I can get there. There is a woman who works for national insurance. I don't know if they can charge her. Usually when I'm flying to Grand Bahama, and I'm serious, 
She accompanies me. She knows I'm afraid. And guess what she does for me? She said, listen, since you are afraid, you lay your head on my chest. And when I lay my head on her chest, when I catch myself, mm. the plane land. Wow. Right? It's, it's a holy relationship. But listen, talk to people, and I'll come down and march. Oh, uh, yeah, because we really need a uh, march up in Freeport. It's really bad here, Mr. Monka. It's terrible. Okay, but let me give you an assurance. After the 2nd of September, I'm willing to come down. Okay? Oh, uh, yes, because um, you can have to set up a committee or whatever because we can need a few march, not just one. can be able to be enough for Freeport. Um, also, I wanted to um, let one of the callers who was calling to find um, a certain person or minister they couldn't find. Um, Lanisha? Every, everything is shut down, but um, I sure the entire Nassau know um, that that person only was linked to the election because of their um, romance relations with Look the now. head. Listen, we're not going to talk love. You can cause them to... Mm. So me. But I got your point, eh? I'm coming down. You take good care. Hello. Right. Welcome to Freedom Match. Good afternoon, Mr. Manka. Hello, my dear. And good afternoon to your spiritual advisor. How are you? Mr. Manka, yes. when you were speaking to Mr. Fizz a few minutes ago, Mr. Mr. Manka, it really put tears to my eyes. Wow. I really want to wonder if Mr. Um, Robertson really told that young man that. Man, that's really terrible. Listen, he won't lie. I know him for many years. Man, that's really bad, yeah. man. And you know something? Yeah. Yeah, man, that's really bad. It's horrible. But Mr. Monka, I'm yeah. saying to you, I hope that Sabas, who owns Allen Luck, I hope he's listening so they can try to give them some assistance. Because I heard him say that his brother um, had a stroke and their house has come down. I hope someone can come and give them some assistance, but they bring tears to my eyes because you don't treat people like that, man. Well, what time oh, is Lord, it? Really bad. What time is it? It's the people's time. Come, you, will you march with me on Saturday, the second it's of September? It's the people's time. So I want you to march with me, okay? It's a freedom march. You take it care. God save the queen. Hello, welcome to freedom. All march. right, sir. Okay. Hello. Nobody else. My spiritual advisor? Yeah. You have any text there? Oh, man, yeah, that's, that's quite a bit. You say you want me, it's $8,400. That's the remaining balance, okay. $8,400. $1,600 from $10,000. So, the f and is taking $8,400. And they should be paying them 10000 But my God, the hog-hearted policy. They're going to give the all seen camp $1,600. Somebody talk to Dr. Minnis. Talk to K. Peter Tankwest. They ain't got no God in them. I don't care what nobody say. Good evening, Mr. Monica. I want you to know that you're doing a great job. I thank with you. Your show. Um, Freeport loves you. And we want you to repeat that quote for us, please. When I was hungry, you didn't feed me. My God. Uh, you moved chills down my spine, Mr. Monica. God save the Queen. I thank you. Good afternoon. Um, please give some shout outs. Yes, shout out my spiritual yeah, advisor. But they didn't, they didn't give me the names. Just hold on for a second. To Mavis Latusma. Ujudia. Yon Gramun Gasso Rele Mwa Pudi. Papa Nu Rele Li. Papa Du Papa Nu Di. U. Ak frère, Pache ke pouli. Vous comprenez? Gasson, qui papa rele, mande moi pour parler ak nou. Mou pa di sa en anglais, parce que ma pa besme en pil moun yo, pou koune exacti mou, le mou parle ak nou. S'il vous plaît, si vous parlez le papa, ma parle ça en anglais. Ok? Ma pas besoin pour créer des pour nous. Mais yon garçon anglais, il dit, s'il vous plaît, mande ma vis la tous ma ak frère li pour le papa. Papa!
fini. Il dit, nous ne pas checker pour lui. Hein? Mais nous ne pas est-ce que nous ne pouvons pas checker pour papa? Non. S'il vous plaît, si nous ne pas checker pour papa, moi je dis ça en anglais. This is freedom match. Mami is not too smart to check it for Papa Lee. I'll be right back after. Do you have something to say to the Senator? Call Freedom March at 323-7775. Toll free from anywhere in the Bahamas at 242-300-0045. Freedom March with Rodney Monker, only on ILTV. This is Freedom March with Rodney Monker. Welcome back to Freedom March broadcasting live. But praise the Lord, the first corporate sponsor has responded. Alive! The competitor to BTC, they have sent me to phone for the Saint Camp. All Saint Camp, and they have assured me that this phone got unlimited text. Text, what else? Um, what All else? the calls, data, data, and, and, calls. Data and, and so forth. So, BTC, go get them. I want big competition. Anybody who goes to All Saint Camp and do God's work, I shall praise them. So folks, these are two phones for the people who run in the camp. And it's from Alive. Here it is. So this is powerful. Now BDC, go and outdo Alive. And anybody who carry hundreds of dollars worth of food and repair the place and clean it down and love the people, freedom march. So this is what Alive. Make sure you all can show this, because I want BDC to see it. Huh? Alive, just come. Cut off the phone. Then people tell me, if you tell me, if you hear what they tell me, how afraid they are without any communication. Huh? Well, Alive, give them two brand new phones. Unlimited, unlimited data, unlimited, unlimited text, index. It, and unlimited time. Uh, say it, my spiritual advisor. Unlimited text, data, and time. Okay. Lord Jesus, I thank you for life. And I thank you, Lord. May a life continue to make social contribution to the poor. Now, life, this ain't our bribe. Send some business this way because only us will speak the truth. And Sebastian need to make some more money so I can make some money. But I thank you all. Okay? I thank you all. For it. Man, this is powerful, eh? God is good. All the time. God is good, eh? Bonjour, bonjour, boom, tout le temps, tout le temps. Bonjour, bon. Tout le temps. Bon de bon. Bon de bon. So it's powerful. Two brand new phones. They will never have to pay um, telephone bill. Never. Unlimited data. Unlimited time and unlimited text. It's powerful, eh? I hope that's BTC. Hello, welcome to Freedom Match. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, sir. Sir. Hello. Yes. Yes, I'm calling from Freeport. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Talk to me. Yes, sir. I want to say two things. Okay, um, I, I, I want to say one, uh, I am one of the founders of the Torchbearers Youth Association. Really? During 1969. Okay, 1969. Yes, I run for the president of it. Now, you got to get, you gotta get your yes. history right. Maybe, I was living here in Freeport maybe for the meant, past Hold on a second, years. hold on a second, because Papa, listening to this, that's Hubert Ingram. Don't say 69, say 79, because 69... Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, then. I'm sorry about that. All right. 79. All right, then. That's better. Yeah, 79. I was born through Taylor Street. Really? Yes. I okay. was born through Taylor Street, and I grew up between the Fort Hill, East Street, and 
Grandstand and Market Street. So what is your point? My, all right. My point is I want to say two things about the election that just passed. Go ahead. Go ahead, my brother. One of them is that Mr. Marvin Dams, right? Yes. Has so much hatred in his heart. Really? Because he wanted to be the commissioner of police. Yes. And instead, he, they sent him to Canada. Right. He, he should pay that money back that the government spent to train him. Right. Because he came back to this country and did nothing to help the commissioner. Yes. He was bitter because he lost. He, because he lost, yes. he was bitter. Yes. Okay? And, yes. and we, had a decent, we have a decent commissioner. Right. All right? Now, the person who tried to bring him to be commissioner was the last commissioner before Mr. Greenslade. Okay? Mr. Ferguson, Reginald Ferguson. Yes. Right. He served under Mr. Bonamy. One of the best commissioners this country had okay. for 14 years. Who you want to be commissioner now that Green Slade is going to London to see the Queen? I, I don't think none of them can handle it. Goodness, now, I see. One more thing I want to say. Say it fast. Right? I'm giving you two seconds. One, okay. I understand. I understand. This is my first time. I understand. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead. Okay. But, okay. The gentleman. The gentleman, the gentleman named Desmond Bannister, yes, has a lot of hatred in his heart. Yes, from the time he lost his seat in 2007, he was a bitter man. He even looked older. I didn't even recognize him. Yes, and if you see how he come now, he come like a bull in a china shop trying to hate people. But I want him to know that God is still on the throne, and he don't sleep, and he don't slumber. And now I have one more thing to say, Mr. R Mr. Manka, and I'm going to call you all again. I love watching you all, but this is the first time I could get on. I want to tell you, I, I would leave something from Galatians chapter 5 and verse 1. Okay. One of successful favorite scriptures. Stand fast. This oh, is the Bahamian people. Stand uh, fast. Therefore, in liberty, we are Christ that made us free. Uh, and be uh, not entangled uh, again uh, with the yoke of bondage. Oh, hallelujah. And remember, Jesus told his disciples to remember Lot's wife. Wow. Remember Lot's wife. Wow. So in the days of Sodom, remember Lot's wife. I thank, thank you very you much, sir. Very and I can try my best to call again because I love you all. Thank and you. And I am one of the man them. Praise the Lord. Yes, don't, sir. Don't Thank take no more phone much. call. Let the spiritual advisor read text. Go ahead. Listen, uh, folks. I want to thank Alive for donating these phones to the All Saints Camp. And any corporate sponsor who donate to the poor, I shall give them some publicity because what Alive has done. You see, management didn't go to the camp. I went to the camp and I saw what happened. All right? So our life ends up with free publicity. But from this, I expect more. All right? Read the text. Good afternoon. Don't take no more call. Good afternoon, yes. Mr. Monka. Uh, please say a happy birthday to my, to my pastor, Overseer Art Neil Humes at the Hall Road Baptist Church, who is spending today in Luther with his daughter, Sam Cox. And his lovely wife, Carolyn. May the good Lord continue to bless and strengthen him with his faithful leadership. Thank you, Mr. Monka. Hello, Sam Cox. She's a wonderful woman. Uh, Mr. Monka, before May 10th election, I was approved for NEMA to repair my roof. Hurricane disaster. Hurricane disaster. Now they're telling me government put a stop on all repairs. This is very bad. It is horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. And the hurricane season it's is horrible. here again, and my roof is still leaking. It's horrible. Uh, Mr. Monka, um, why are they being sent home close to school opening? That's because they don't love us. They don't love us. All right? Uh, Mr. Monka, are you aware of persons get being fired from BAIC today? No, I'm not aware, but go see Wayne Monroe. I've told him I'm going to send a lot of poor people to him. Good afternoon, Mr. Monka and your spiritual advisor. It's a pleasure to watch your show. Shout out to Mrs. Marsha Sanders in 8 Mile Rock 
and Mrs. Dorothy Knowles in Harbor Island. They are the women them. Get after Mr. Munker and spiritual advisor. Shout out to Mr. Wayne, Mr. Mr. Wayne L. in Eight Mile Rock. He's one of the children them. Uh, Mr. Munker, um, old time is softball games on the park Saturday. No, I don't understand that one. Get after Mr. Munker. Could you please tell? <laughs> Come, my spiritual advisor, press Could you time? please tell the spiritual advisor to stop singing for supper? If the FNM isn't doing anything, then admit it. Yes. Good day. Where's um, my phone? Can you have the young man contact Mother Pratt at 326? Write that number down. Okay. 326, write that down. Or her down. granddaughter. They want to assist them. This is Thanks. powerful. That's Anybody who can assist the young man, he needs assistance, and his brother has a stroke. Walk around there. Good day, Mr. Monica, and your spiritual advisor. I don't agree on anything you say, but today I agree with you on the All Saints camp. My heart is full. The government needs to help the camp as soon as possible. Um, good evening, Mr. Monica. Don't forget to tell the... Um, good evening. Don't forget to tell the Senator the FM fired Leon Williams from BTC again. So he can't help them with the phone. Well, somebody has to help them. And it is about 1,500 um, feet off the main road. And they have no telecommunication. And something is fundamentally wrong. And I want management to know, I'm happy that Alive has done it. I know they're getting free publicity. But I need phone in the back of there. All right? And anyone who helped those poor people, I'm going to give them some publicity. Because this is doing God's work. Good evening, Mr. Monica and spiritual advisor. Give thanks to God. Albany needs to apologize to the government and the Bahamian people for I'll their words. I'll deal with them tomorrow because Nikki Kelly has made an interesting revelation in today's punch. Good evening, Mr. Monka. I'm one of the women that my heart hurts so bad. Looks like only the rich lives in this country. I'm praying that God would really assist us. It's a sad, sad day in the Bahamas. Good day, gentlemen. Mr. Spiritual Advisor, you indicated on several occasions that Mr. Minister will be the greatest Prime Minister of the Bahamas. My question is, what caused you to make this declaration? Uh, Mr. Monka, it's no surprise to hear rumblings of threats on lives in the FNM. The party was founded on threats and violence. And, and murder. Yeah. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Mr. Monka, I see that the Tourism Ministry has a commercial on during your show. Is that why you're prohibited from criticizing i don't think so but don't forget now i have a first cousin on my daddy's side and she has sworn to me that the Aguila is my cousin so i want all the family them to sponsor me good evening mr monica how are you um shout out to you from freeport they didn't have a name no problem uh did i did, did i do the shout outs for those elutra people today no Goodness of my sake. Hi, Senator. Please say hi to sisters Delarine and Charmaine and Brylan. They are two of the women now. It's powerful. All right, let me go to the actual text messages. Uh, Mr. Monka, I did call and fax up my MP, Michael Pine, in, in Pine Ridge and Freeport, because his office has been closed for almost two weeks now. Wow, Michael Pine. I can't believe you're doing this. Mr. Monka, you're here to clash with former... Justice Jones, sorry, be careful. That woman from Exuma will wheel your backside for real. Be, be, Listen be to aware. me. That's a fight you can't win, okay? She know roll well, people. Hockey cries. Hockey cries. Be careful. Listen, I ain't talking to her. I'm talking to Cousin Veronica. Don't forget now, we are one people. And she's been hypocritical. She didn't criticize Minnes and the FNM. When they went outside the magistrate court. So how she could criticize the PLP? Come on. Can I, I want to do a shout out to Christina Simonet, Villa May Sweeting, Jesse, Mikey, McQuell, and Dunks from Awaki. Okay? And of course, there's a Negro lady by the name of Shannon Albury. And she has offered to hide me in the South eastern bahamas she says she doesn't want me to live in camp road and whenever i'm ready she's going to hide me in the southeastern 
Bahamas. Good afternoon, Mr. Monk. When I pass the station, the only person I see in my mind is Mr. Roll, and I wonder what is he doing there on your show? How can two walk together unless they agree? Rodney is definitely confused. Go home, Mr. Roll. God is not the author of confusion. Should I have read that or skip that? Old That's powerful to that Negro person. I said, lick it or mama. No, man, it, come on. It's, it's an African tongue. Uh, an ancient tongue. Shirley Corley is one of the women them. Send a shout out to her. Shirley. Shirley, we are marching Corley. on Saturday, September the 2nd. We are meeting at 6 p.m. Sudden Recreation Ground. We're going to rally. Then afterward, we're going to sally and do a nice little match. Mr. Monka, price control really needs to do something with the prices on certain items. Mr. Monka, I bought a pack of pork chops from a certain store in Savannah Sound. I paid $25 for only six pieces of pork chops. Man, Mr. Monka. come to Nassau. How can I make it like I this? I mean, it's horrible, and it's the people's time. All right? Talk to the FNM or call your MP. Mr. Monka, this whole country is falling apart. Menace and Diagla don't know what they're doing. Uh, the FNM have a white heart of hate towards the Bahamian people. Uh, today, we don't wish to be named, but can you send a contact or have the young disabled man come to Mother Pratt residence located at 6th Street Coconut Grove? Uh, we would love to assist them. Okay. Thank you. Well, they did leave two numbers here. All right. Um, Mr. Monko, FNM for a long time. Ten years. Well, it's the people's time for ten years, which means no contract a cutting in the social assistance for the All Saint Camp. Can you imagine the FNM taking away eight thousand four hundred dollars? And you're talking about sixty-five people, fifteen children, and fifty adults. They should hang their head in shame. Mr. Monka, the poor people of North Lutra, Spanish Wells, and Harbor Island, we still waiting to be paid. And school is about to open. They're saying that no administrators here to sign the checks. Is it really the people's time, Mr. Monka? Listen, it is the people's time. It's the people's time. Here we go. Um, Mr. Monka, Camp Road is not a good hideout for you. You need to be in the South. Listen, hide me. From Menace and the FNM. Mr. Monka, what is who is your choice for leadership of the Pro Progressive Liberal Party? Philip is Brave Davis. They want to know if it's Chester Cooper. I just told them Philip Brave Davis. <laughs> um, here we go. There's breaking news, and we reported it earlier, that a 56-year-old light-skinned Negro woman by the name um, who is one of the managers of the National Insurance Board. She was charged with extortion, and she, de she denied extortion and bribery charges when she was arraigned in magistrate court today. Selena Sweeting, 56, of the Eastern Road, is accused of extorting $5,000 from Sean Rumming between June 27 and July 17, 2017. She is also accused of soliciting the same sum from ramming during the same period, she was remanded to prison. The trial date is set for November 1st. Mr. Monka, I don't understand why you ask your spiritual advisor to confirm the negative things the FNM are doing. But if you say something negative to PLP, he's very quick to say absolutely. He is very biased. He sees wrong and he keeps quiet and continues to, to say, give the FNM a chance. A true spiritual advisor would admit wrong, but he is not going to do that, especially on TV, because he continues to sing for his supper and he knows the FNMs are watching and he's afraid his contracts will be taken. You need a spiritual advisor who is neutral and calls a spade a spade and have no fear of losing a job, but stands up for this right. Oh, oh. My spiritual <laughs> advisor, you are very fair. I'm I thinking, please, with your spiritual advice, I'm thinking God the same thing too. will take care of you. Mr. Monica, do you know who's responsible for bringing BP and L to this country? Who? No, they're asking if you know who's responsible. Listen, Mr. Christie and them went to the United States. There was a news report where President, Vice President um, Biden told him 
that this was a good company and they listened and they bought the company now we know that the vice president was wrong and the quicker we could get rid of these people the better it will be simple as that mr monica they need to drag perry fred and all the rest of them shackled together to do the bank lane shuffle all right that's it you sound like my lady by her comments the other day oh sorry she has ensured that justice will be stopped in its most vital part when a former president of the court of appeal and a former chief justice comments on a case well what you think the jury can do why you think that so 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 what is the name of the uh, so Boynton hall why do you think Sir Boyton Hall was upset with ZNS? Because they attempted to engage him in a controversy. And a retired justice is never to stoop to that level under any condition. Because once you get involved in the mess, you become messier as people throw mess on you. That is the mistake that she has made. And that's why I'm appealing to Cousin Veronica Rami to speak to her. Mr. Monka, if you keep up what you're doing, you'll be able to choose your constituency to run in the next election. Mr. Monka, you're doing a great job. Well, I thank you very much, and I would hope you would join us on the Freedom March, Saturday, September the 2nd. We're going to meet at the Sudden Recreation Ground. There we shall rally, and then Sally. Mr. Monka, we want to know from either you or your essay, is it true that they have arrested Miss Michelle Rackley? I don't know. The best person to ask is the punch because the Prime Minister, he is the one who supplies the punch. Be careful. With the inf uh, listen to me. Use the FNM. Oh, FNF? man. You, Mr. Are you an FNM? Mr. Monka, you, you can't do it on national TV. Oh, what do you mean I can't do? I know the relationship between Dr. Minnis wow. and, and the punch. Wow. So that's the, I think that's irresponsible. That is not irresponsible. Yeah. You should retract that statement. No, sir. You, you can't do that. To, but I just said it. This is a sitting prime minister country, Mr. What do you mean it's a sitting prime minister? This is the same sitting prime minister who unlawfully wrote me a letter. Well, you need to get your information correct. You can't just divulge information So you information give us the facts. Like what are the facts? I don't know what the facts are. Ah, so you keep quiet. Be responsible, man. Advisor. Be responsible. Listen to me. Do you know what the facts are? I don't know what the facts so are. So therefore, you should remain silent as I say what mm. the facts are. Wow. The punch is wow. supplied by its information from the Prime Minister. Every good f &M is aware of that. This is interesting, eh? Yeah. Mr. Monica, the poor people of North Lufus, Spanish Wells, and Harbor Island, we still in... Oh, I think I read that one before about not being paid. Uh, good afternoon. Can you tell BP and L, stop cutting off current and Abaco? We won't watch your show, Mr. Monka. Listen, it is one of the biggest mistakes the PLP made when they allow the Philistine to take over the national electricity. Good day, Mr. Monka and spiritual advisor. I'd like to send a shout out to my Grammy, Cynthia Brown, and my mom, Teresa Brown. We watch your show every day. And we are the women them from Brittany. Where's Brittany? Hello. I'm happy that you love Freedom March. Okay, here we go. Tensions rising. Um, hi, Santa. Can you please say hi to sisters Darley and Charmaine and Brylan? Sister Darley and Charmaine and Brylan. How are you? Um, look, like that's it. That's all the text for the day. Yep. That's it. That's it, yeah. Well, folks, tomorrow... There are other pressing issues. The story of the young handicapped Negro man, um, Wentworth says, was sad. And the experience that I had at the Saints' camp, it was sad. The lights, somebody need to go there before those people are electrocuted. The fire department need to visit the kitchen because the stove is fatty and greasy and it needs to be properly cleaned. The roof is leaking. You can see the sky. It's horrible. It's horrible. It needs some landscaping. And I want to thank the white people from America who built the little homes 
They've done a wonderful, wonderful job. And I also want to thank Alive for the two phone. I think this is wonderful and I am saddened that they are being treated in this regard. Today, Alive, you all are heroes, okay? And I want to thank you. You all have gotten some free publicity, but I think what you have done today is wonderful. And those of my citizens should visit the camp. It's horrible. It's horrible, the condition, all right? And the FNM ain't got no heart. The Nisha ain't got no heart. One, he got heart. One, Miller has heart. I believe he's not party to that. He's a good man. Lanisha, have a heart, man. Boy, life is strange. Her daddy just gave me three big pairs yesterday. I saw him in Bantang. He said, listen, these three pairs for you. And today, I'm forced to curse out his daughter. Brother Thompson, you know there's love in my heart. All right? The pairs were wonderful. I thank you for them. But I had to criticize Lanisha. Okay? I had to. So... That's the way life is. Today is a great day. I have no reports of any murder. Am I correct, my spiritual advisor? No. There's no reports? There's no reports, yeah. So, what so you, you are correct, sorry. So what are we going to give Marvin today? We're going to give him an A. We're going to give him an A? As he always deserves. We give him an A? As always, as always. Okay, Just Marvin, you got an A for no murder. This is powerful. Folks, you take good care. Tomorrow, we got a lot of things to talk about. I have the Commission of Inquiry, and I got some other things that I want to point out to you. So you take good care. This is Freedom Map, and I'll be back, if it's God's willing, tomorrow. The thoughts, views, and comments expressed by Rodney Monker, his guests, Callers and advisors on Freedom March are not necessarily those of the management, ownership, or production unit of ILS, the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV Studios and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without the express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group. Copyright 2017. All rights are reserved.